fetal Doppler. Before anything, we should know basics of Doppler. Uh, no doubt that the echo from stationary tissue are the same from pulse to pulse, like ultrasonography, ordinary ultrasonography. But echo from moving object. Doppler is working in a moving object. It uh, shows slight difference in the time for the signal to be returned to the receiver. To understand this, this figure will illustrate this idea. The impulse from transducer to the moving object T1. And then the moving object changes its position. So the returning signal T2 changed the position in the transducer, unlike station object. We should imagine if this station object, the signal T1, and reverse it in the same pathway, like T1 in the same position. But in a moving object, the turning signal will be change the position into slight distance. This distance between area this and to area this T1 to T2. This is known phase shift. Uh, also, it changes by the angle of the beams, angle slight angle. But if the angle is acute or obtuse, this will affect velocity or Doppler. This is the frequency and this is the angle of insinuation, this acute angle. The angle between the beam and the direction of the flow become smaller. To understand the importance of the angle, this diagram showing the importance of the angle. In a position A, now, in situation A, the angle is acute, so the wave like this. The angle here changes in B, less acute toward right angle, not reaching right angle, the wave like this. But when the angle is right angle like this, the wave is so slight or shadow or nearly baseline. Unlike uh, angle become obtuse and the moving object moving um, uh, more uh, opposite side to the transducer, the wave become inverted in a D. When the wave towards the transducer, this is the picture of the wave. But when the wave become away from transducer, the wave will become inverted like this. Certain parameter we used in a doubler, S means systolic peak, D, diastole. It's easy, systole and diastole. A, the average, average of frequency over one cycle. To understand doubler indices, first resistivity index, which introduced in 1975, which equal systole minus diastole divided upon systole. So the resistivity index should not exceed one because we subtracted systole uh, minus diastole and then divided the, all of them upon systole. But the resistivity index introduced uh, two years later equal systole uh, minus the stall divided upon average. Lastly, a CD ratio, which uh, simply divide the stall upon the stall. In obstetric, fetal doubler, we uh, focus on three things, umbilical artery, uterine artery, and middle cerebral artery. There is a lot of uh, studies on investigation, but this is most important. Umbilical artery, uh, it is easier. A less experienced operator can achieve highly results with simple, inexpensive equipment. It was advanced gestation. El umbilical artery doubler we evolved to demonstrate progressive flies in the end velocity and decrease in positivity index means there's more blood supply to the fetus. SD ratio, normally two to three in second and third trimester, positivity index. Uh, between one 
0.522 second trimester, but decreased due to increased blood supply in third trimester to less than one and a half. Is the safety index nearly around 0.5? How half? What's meant by absent or reversed testicular is the most important finding in a fetal doubler in umbilicus. It's risking you need more admission to in ICU, increase intracranial hemorrhage, increase anemia, increase hypoglycemia, increase long term permanent neurological damage. This is a high resistance, but still preserved diastolic flow. Here is reversed diastolic flow with a bad ominous sign. This preserved diastolic flow, and here is reversed diastolic flow. In 39 IGR fetus, consequences was carried. This was positive diastolic flow, only 12% hypoxic, and there is no acidosis. But in absent or reverse, reverse diastolic flow, about 80% hypoxic and nearly half of them acidemic. Umbilical artery and CTG. Umbilical artery. 90% more sensitive than stress test or CTG. Interval between absence for endostolic flow and onset of the late deceleration was days, about in three to 12 days. <clears throat> so the fetal hypoxemia first affected fetal cross, then abnormal in arterial doblar, then abnormal in venous doblar, and lastly change in non stress test or cardiogram or biophysical profile, which is late. Uterine artery, this is another section of Doppler, which help us to protect preeclampsia. Reflects trophoblastic invasion, endpoint elevated resistance, resistance in this indices, more than two standard deviation or resistant diastolic notch. This is the uterine artery, this is iliac artery and iliac vein, how to catch them in the Doppler. Normally in first trimester, Imbalance in the uterine artery, the first trimester, there is resistance. Imbalance in flow of the second trimester, there is notch. But in the late second trimester and third trimester, normally notch disappeared. So in the late second trimester, normally there is no notch. If there is persistent notch, this is abnormal and this is predicted to. Reclamps. Middle cerebral artery, last item. This is circle of wells, and this is the area of interest to us to catch middle cerebral artery doppler. Uh, what's important for us is the big systolic velocity <coughs> can be used to diagnose fetal anemia. We used it in cases of erythrocytosis fetalis to diagnose of early diagnosis fetal anemia before, before occurrence of hydrophetalis. Thanks a lot.